There's got to be something engraved on us. See, at least I'm glad that I found this image because there is a lot more that needs to be discovered or studied. Look at the thickness of this thing. I mean, this thing is mad. Oh my God, look at this object. Look at that. Look at that. See, I believe these are electromagnetic repeaters. These are frequency repeaters that, that form a net around the entire solar system. And so they all vibrate at the specific frequency that these entities want them to, for whatever purposes. So Earth is a, has its own specific frequency. Look at that. I mean, it's just so difficult to, to show this details on these images. Somebody that knows how to do for a show. Look, there's a face right there. Look, the eyes. The nose perfectly with nostrils and everything. And the lips. Maybe that's the intended. Just go on, it's like a, a, a watch, a Swiss watch mechanism. Look at this, all these things. Look at all these things right there. And there is much more to this image than what I'm just showing. Look, four of them in alternate positions. Then you see that dark spherical thing with a tube that is connected to this complex mechanism. And all of this is interconnected, all of it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And you're talking about objects the size of Earth. These are not tiny little, uh, little pebble here or there. No, no, no. These things are gigantic. Earth size and bigger. Imagine and look a perfect hexagon. Pan, pan. With a tube here that divides into two. Oh, three things. Another deal here. So think about it. Wow, man, this 
this is amazing. Look how this thing goes like a rainbow. With all this, you have this structure right up here, it has several subdivisions. And you got this thing right here. all translucent and you got more deeper stuff in the background I mean this is just incredible man incredible look at that the energy is so potent. Look, there's a lot more in that fuzzy, blurry. And inside the rings, right, this ring, oh, I can see all these designs. They're like beautifully designed, like a special jewelry. Looking in a putrid dish in a, under a microscope. And you see all this bacteria moving around and stuff. It's just one image. Imagine that. This is enormous. Oh, where is that up there? Wow, look at that. The two bulging deals. Uh, and then look at, oh my goodness, that's 
that stuff right there is so complex. I wouldn't even attempt to do the drawing. Well, there is a gigantic face right there. Three faces, three pair of eyes made with the structures themselves. And look how they go up and they have this. These are like tubes, this thing, this. Whatever these are, these are no rings, but something else. And then look, look how they're designed. The same cardiogram thing in layers that I was explaining with the image of the stereo camera of the moon, I mean the sun. But each layer is three-dimensional. Look what this thing makes. Oh my goodness, it's, I mean, I couldn't do this drawing. It's just near, impossible. You have to take hours and hours. Look at this Leo here, a double, double trouble. Look at that. Those Cassini researchers well they need to get down to the nitty-gritty and try to enhance this image look look at the wow man look at this it's like a mechanical thing right there that's the real space behind the smoky looking crap that we see dark deal that we see that is not, that's not how space really is, how the solar system is, it's a mechanical, in fact, everything that I have seen is, it has a mechanical flavor. It's all complex but three-dimensional you can see it but it's just like I said look at these two and then look look at the structure behind it now you don't even know if that deal is surrounding it it's I mean and it's all interconnected. You can see how it interconnects. Look at this circle thing. Wow. Look at this, man. And it repeats over and over and over. 